sometimes there just isn't much to say about a video. So I hope you enjoy this one. So how long how long do you think this one it's been since this one's been cut? Oh well, I don't know, years. Three, four? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Alright, well let's just get started here. And we'll get these all trimmed up. Okay. So you live in the building next door? Yeah, the Glenwood. Good. I'm glad they went and got you. Well, I'm kicked out of on the thirtieth. Oh. So that's a limited length of time you can stay there, or did you do something? I did something, I guess. Okay. My room turned into a mess. Do you think they'll really make you go? I don't know. I don't think so, because we're, we're going to have a meeting Tuesday. Good. And I guess I've been there 22 years or so. 22 years? Yeah. In that same space? Yeah. So can you have them help you clean it up a little? Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, you cleaned it up a little uh -huh. yourself. Okay. I bet they'll give you a second chance. I think so. They all like me. <laughs> they what? They all like me. Good. They don't like you? They all do like me. Oh, they like you. Yeah. All right, so here's this one. That would be very hard if they didn't leave you there. And they they probably just need to say that so that you would take oh, it seriously. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What was going on? You can just relax, I got you. Are you concerned about that, or are you thinking it, it's going to all go okay? No, well, with this meeting, I think they'll give you a second chance. Right? Who's going to kick a 66-year-old man out on the street? <laughs> well, if you were committing a crime, that's one thing, but just having a messy room doesn't seem like a serious enough issue. Uh -huh. Was it messy, or were you like a hoarder? Uh, it was messy, because... I, I'd be sitting on my bed watching my TV at the end of the bed. I'd eat something or whatever, and then I'd just toss the stuff over there. Oh, got it. So like a typical teenage boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do they have room inspections every so often over there? Oh, yeah. So how did that happen that it went that way? They didn't, they just never noticed it? No, I threw all the trash out, mopped the floor, and that was about it, it did. But how did it get so bad that they threatened to have you leave? Oh. That seems a little extreme if, if they do room inspections every so often. Anyway. It, I think it'll go I fine. think it'll be just fine. Yeah, after that meeting too, that's it. Should be all right. You just have to be a little more careful with your stuff now. Yeah, I gotta keep everything clean. Well, I'm sure if there's food all over the place, that is perfect for bringing in mice and rats. And you see, yeah, because we used to be able to take a, our food in a styrofoam thing mm -hmm. and bring it to our rooms. And when I was done with it, I just tossed it over the uh. garbage. But never emptied your garbage? Uh, not, not very often. If well, I... we can fault you for a mess, but we can't fault you for honesty. <laughs> <laughs> You're being very honest. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kick me out. Try to give me a good ear whooping. All right, I'm not even sure where to start with this one. Do you want to? Do you want to keep it on there forever, or should we get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> My hands are getting in the way, let me know. You just didn't have the tools to cut it once it got 
a little longer and they were sick, so it was just impossible. Yeah. How did the nurse know that you needed care? Did she happen to see you one day? The nurse? Because um, the nurse is Judy also. She's a doctor, Judy, and the nurse you have here is Judy? How did she know your nail needed cutting? Because she, she notified me that you were going to come down for a trim. Oh. Did she see you? Did you go into her at one point? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Maybe somebody told her that you had really long nails. I don't believe. Maybe. Do they have nurses over there or, or help or staff or anything that would have noticed it? Well, I know that my buddies know it. Yeah, so maybe one of them told her. Yeah. The word was out. We know a few people that live over there that come to us regularly. And the word is out that we would like people to from over there to come over if they can. Oh. So maybe they were just telling her that they know somebody that needs it. Yeah. Okay, so that was one piece. Whoops. How yeah. long was that nail, do you think? Like I, four or five centimeters? Oh, no, more than that. Four or five centimeters is about that big. Oh, from the base. I'm thinking the extra part. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking six inches. Um. Yeah, blame them boots. Mm -hmm. I blame my boots. I had some work boots. Mm -hmm. And they were a little tight. And that's where it first started. Because oh. now that you have this nail off, you'll be able to wear regular shoes. Or do you need them even? Yeah. To go out? What's your shoe yeah, size? Yeah, I got them boots and now uh, I got them tennis shoes, which has been about 10 years old. Well, do you, what's your shoe size? Uh, 11, I think. Oh, I might have a pair of 11s I could bring you. When we're done here, I'll check, okay? Okay. Do you have any flip-flops for the shower? Would you like some? Yeah, actually. Shower shoes, that will keep you from getting athletes. No, I do, because I didn't, before I didn't want people to see my toes. Oh, uh, but now you go in the shower? I took the shower today, but it's pretty clean. I mean, it's, it's kept clean. Good. So. Well, we can still give you a pair of flip-flops if you want. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be nice. You're going to know, you're going to have some brand new feet when we're done here. They're going to look so nice. Mm -hmm. Probably all my life I had good looking feet, you know? Mm -hmm. You really do. You don't have really much for bunions or crooked toes or anything. So except for these nails, your feet look really nice. Yeah, they're not bad. Where'd you grow up? Uh, St. Paul. On uh, the, on east, east, side. east side? Beaver Lake. <laughs> Beaver Lake. And you went to Beaver. what? Oh, Beaver Lake. Beaver Lake, yeah. And where did you go to high school? Hill High School, and then I turned into Archbishop Murray, and then they merged. Then I went to Hill Murray? Yeah. So you went to Catholic High School? Yeah. Wow. Well, I was in the St. Paul Fels Drummer Bugle Car. I started in the B Corps. I got to the right age, I went to the A Corps. Wow. For a trumpet? No, drums. Drums. Nice. Yeah, in the B Corps, I think I played, played every percussion there. I was the first one in St. Paul to go through a parade with three tenor drums. Hmm. Interesting. The bands nowadays? I'm from Rosemount, and they're sending a band to the Rose Bowl. Ooh, they cool. are on, they have like four band directors. They are doing all these formations and all this music. You just can't believe what they do now oh, with these wow. bands. It's just, it's... They're getting competitions? Yes, they are. They're always winning. All right. They, I think they're the only high school band that's ever been asked twice to go to the Rose Bowl. Ooh. They're just, it's just phenomenal what they do. Uh, are there a lot of people in it? Oh, hundreds. Oh. Okay. It's going to cost, I think they figure like 500000 to get all these kids out to California for the Rose Bowl. Oh, wow. 
-hmm. with their with their meals and costs and then the trailers mm -hmm. for all the instruments and everything. Mm -hmm. It's just it's gonna be a very huge endeavor. Mm -hmm. They've been doing fundraising and it's just a lifetime experience for these children. Oh, it's great. Do I you mean, ever play instruments anymore? No. No ability to do that right now? Uh, no instruments. <laughs> oh, that's what I mean. You yeah. Know. Well, see, I, I played piano. My mom made me play piano all the time. Get lessons. And you know, things. my kids, my daughter played drums, and I think when you are going to do percussion, they would like a background in piano, they say. Yeah. That is what they prefer. Well, technically, piano is percussion. Yeah. Yeah. So they they just figure if you don't have that, it's pretty tough. Yeah, I played the piano, and she made me she made me learn a okay, learn a, it's a the fancy stuff was it? Classical. Yeah. Was she a piano player? Oh yeah. Really she, good. Yeah, she was good. And we had a baby grand piano. Mm. I don't know where <laughs> Beaver Lake is them. even. Do you know where Beaver Lake is? No. Have you heard of it? No. I've lived in Minnesota for 30 years. On the east side of St. Paul. Every day I hear names of towns I've never heard of before. Well, Beaver Lake is really, you were in St. Well, Paul. It's just a lake in St. Paul, right? Well, it's a, this is not a big lake, you know. Where, like, what by where okay. is it? Okay, if you you gotta come up McKnight Road, mm -hmm. going north. I was thinking McKnight went east west. Yeah. So after. Yeah. So you it was it's up in that region by Hill Murray. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that, Hill Murray's about oh. 10, 15 miles from there. Oh, really? That far? Yeah, because see, I, I grew up in Maryland, but this Maryland was only one block. Mm -hmm. And uh, you come up. Um, I'll get the rest of this with the Sanders. Right. joke with my patients that you're going to go home a pound or two lighter. <laughs> I think with you it might actually be true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good weight reduction plan. Yeah, yeah I'll see I got them. I have the little clippers like for your fingernails. Oh, there's no way. And then I ended up, I found a, what I do a toenail one. And, uh, well, you never need to worry about that now because you've got us. We're here every third Friday. And you know, you probably don't need to come maybe every three months. Just walk yeah. over and here you are. If they say you gotta go, you say, no, I can't go because I'm gonna be getting my feet done every month or two here. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't want me to go anywhere. are going to be so nice. You have got nice feet. You could probably throw out your little slippers, your moccasins, and start over because you won't need them now with these nails cut. No, I'll give you some shoes. Oh. Tuesday, what's going on? 
Well, I'm just going to expect that nothing's going to happen, and then we'll see you here in a couple months.
So what were you saying when we had the, the drill going, the Dremel? What you, you were laughing and said what? They look so good. <laughs> and your neighbor will be happy? What were you saying about that? Is that her? Huh. All right. So when you come next time, I will be able to get these big toenails a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. If I try now, there's lots of skin growing right up under it that I don't want to that I don't want to get. Yeah. But we can definitely make that thinner. But for right now, I think the change is drastic enough that. Oh, beautiful. Um, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me do the video of these. Sure. Okay.